Hi everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Today I want to show you how to break down a whole pumpkin. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so here's our pumpkin. Now, I buy these whole from because at your local farmer's market and usually if you buy the whole one, you can get it at a cheaper rate. Now I've got a few bits of equipment here, my chopping board, make sure you've got a really stable good chopping board, I've got a bowl to put our chopped pumpkin in, I've got a bowl for scraps, a, a really sharp knife, a dessert spoon and I've got a damp cloth, I'm just going to show you, We're going to. I've dampened this and I'm just going to fold it to around the shape of the board and we're going to put it underneath. This stabilises your board and stops it from slipping. Okay, so here's our pumpkin. Usually I tell you when you're cutting on a board to make sure it's on a flat surface. But you don't want your knife to get stuck into the stalk. It's really hard. You could slip and cut yourself. So we're going to cut through the centerpiece, which is quite soft. If you stabilize it with your hand, insert your knife and just cut it through. Then we're going to rotate it and do the same thing again. Insert the tip and cut it through. Look at the color of this. It's amazing. Pumpkin's so full of vitamins and minerals, um, really good if you've got high cholesterol and it hasn't got many calories, so great if you're dieting. You can steam it, roast it, and you can see here I've, I'm cutting it now with that flat surface on the board, which is your safest way of doing it. Now using your dessert spoon you can scrape all these seeds out. You could separate all the seeds and roast them if you wanted to. Pumpkin's really fantastic. You can eat nearly the whole plant. It's leaves. About the only thing you can't eat is the um, skin, which probably wouldn't be that great. So we're just going to cut all that through. Keep your board nice and clear so you're not going to slip or do any damage. And just cut that down into pieces and take the skin off. Seems like a lot of pumpkin, but it's very versatile. You can use it in a lot of different ways, and you could even dice it and freeze it down. You could puree it. Thanksgiving's coming up, so you might want to make a pumpkin pie, and it's just such a versatile vegetable, and I love it. It's got all that natural carotene in it with all that beautiful orange, and just full of flavonoids and antioxidants. So there we have it, a bowl of pumpkin ready to do what you want to do with it. Maybe make it into a beautiful pumpkin puree and whip up a delicious pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Guys, thanks so much for watching today. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel to get my weekly videos. Don't forget you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And I'd love to hear from you. So if you've got any questions or comments, leave me a message in the box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next week. Bye.